I am pretty sure we bit off more than we can chew. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, our mini splits got here. Molly did some vlogging and we ripped everything out of the bus. We laid down our layout and the kids found an interesting spot to sleep, but we did get to hang out with a lot of our friends. Let's see what's going on this episode. Hey you, good morning from a very foggy morning central Florida. If you can tell, we are at Dunkin' Donuts getting my latte fix. I love ice lattes. Like it's my favorite drink in the world. I get them ice latte, no sweetener, but with oat milk from Dunkin' Donuts and they are my jam. I love them. Having sleep apnea, it's, it's, you're tired all the time. Like I could literally fall asleep right here in this chair right now. Caffeine's kind of my friend or it's kind of my vice right now while we're trying to work through this sleep apnea disability because it's, it's, most certainly a disability. It's very tough. It makes a lot of things that should be easy a lot more difficult. But enough about that. We gotta start building cabinets today. So I'm up. It's 8.30. I've been up since about 7, 7.15. Get back and I'm gonna jump in the wood shop and get to work. I plan to film quite a bit of it. I don't know how much Jen's actually gonna post. One, I'm not a professional woodworker. Never claimed to be. Never gonna claim to be. Two, I'm not a cabinet maker. Not, not by any stretch of imagination. So the methodology and the way I do things probably might not be the way you would do them, but it's the only way I know how. And it's the easiest, most efficient way that I can figure out how to do it in the moment. All you professionals out there, I mean, yeah, if you got, if you want to get slammed, I mean, that's fine. If that's what you really want to do. But I bought my lumber yesterday. I bought $450 worth of lumber. Uh, builder grade plywood cut premium was double the price. So it went from builder grade was 65 bucks a sheet. Premium grade was 125 bucks a sheet. So almost double the price. If we were staining, I probably would have opted for the better lumber or the better plywood, but we're going to be painting it. I felt like I could clean up that wood, sand it, prep it good enough to where it look really good painted. I'm actually kind of excited about, excited about it. I've never built cabinets before. I've built a lot of stuff, but I've never built cabinets. I'll be doing that pretty much all day today, but I do have to go to a dentist again to have an, an exam for the doctor before I get my appliance for my teeth. I'll stop rambling now. I got to get my coffee. If this line will ever go anywhere. I gotta get to work. So I'll bring you in probably with one of my new GoPros. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, good morning. I'm in allergy hell right now. Like my face is so swollen. These dumb Florida allergies. I never thought they were a thing, but apparently they are and they suck. So I know what Kyle goes through every day now. Mm. And it's not very fun. <laughs> what have we got going on today? We're about to start cutting some wood. That's mm. plan anyway. We got our three quarter inch birch right here. Um, these are gonna be, I gotta cut four panels out. Are gonna be the base, part of the base for the cabinet boxes. Yeah, I'm trying to get my new camera. I haven't even used my new camera yet. My new GoPro, it's so cute. So I'm gonna try to do some filming as I go. That's pretty much it. I'm trying to get, I wanna try to get all the wood cut out by lunch. Like I said a little bit ago, I, had another, I have another appointment at two something, so I gotta go to that. Hopefully this evening I can start assembling. Ooh. This is the plan, yeah, so. All right, well let's get started. And it's a super foggy day. So here is the bases, the cabinet bases that I built. They didn't go as I really hoped. It's not as nice as I wanted it to be. It looks okay. I mean, you know, it's just gonna be a lot of paint prep, but I think it'll be nice. 
I kind of changed my mind. I'm just gonna build this like this. I was actually going to separate the two. This is a base over here. This little one right here is a base. I was actually gonna separate them and kind of put like a little lazy Susan in there. Honestly, I don't really have the skill or the patience to try to do that. Just gonna put some shelving back there and we'll have some good storage for pots and pans and stuff like that. There'll be two doors here. Sink a be in this area here. This whole bank here will be drawers. It, it'll be a nice, it'll be a nice upgrade, but I've got them tacked together. So I think I'm gonna call it a night for tonight. Today didn't go quite as planned. I'm, I'm out of practice a little bit. I think it'll come together. We got a lot of paint prep to do. I wanna get these built tomorrow. I wanna be pretty much done building tomorrow. So that's the plan. That's gonna be a long day. I think I can do it. I just gotta do some more figuring, go lay in bed, do some figuring, do some drawing, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, how are you today? Whoa, sorry, my hand hit the thingy. Right now, Kyle is working on a list of crap that we've got to get. We have got to run to Lowe's. We've got to get some stuff for the rest of the cabinet making. Thank goodness, we just need to get this done. Today's Wednesday, we don't have any days left. We're supposed to be leaving Sunday. If need be, we can push it to leaving Monday and just doing a six hour travel day if we have to. But we're hoping that we don't have to do that and we can actually leave on Sunday. Look who it is. <laughs> Steve. Good morning. RV Steve is already here. Here and happy. Oh, no, Kevin. what the? Kevin! <laughs> God bless. Come on, Kevin. Let's go. Kyle, you're you're perpetuating it. Go, go get inside. Go inside. Come on, Kevin. Go. Come on. You got out of the fence. Bad Kevin. Let me go put these dogs up and I'll take you back over there. Okay. Let's try this again. Poor Kevo. Whatever, don't even poor Kevin me. What do we got going on? We gotta put the front facing on them. I'm gonna try to figure out how we're gonna do that. Cause this is the back and that's the back. Well, this is the, you know, the, yes, the, the, side, the footprint the, of the kitchen. Yes. So yeah. This is, so this is. We're gonna have two doors here and we're gonna have a set of drawers over here. Back in that corner will be. Open shelving. Yes. How's RV Steve today? I just woke up. Any of us are too excited right now. That's all right. We're going to knock this day out and it's going to be awesome. Okay, we got back and we've got a lumber. Kyle got some water. And I have our backsplash over there. So are you ready to get to getting? I don't have a choice. Yeah, you're going to ready as you're going to get. I want to be pretty much done with the building today. Well, as far as cabinets. Then I gotta build the bench and the table, but I don't think that'd be very hard. The cabinets are just gonna take some time, so. on I came to visit this guy in the wood shop he Ooh. is he's doing one of those pocket screws pocket holes. pocket holes we're learning all new things y'all this is the only way to build this stuff is nice you guys make sure you have a lot of clamps you got a lot of stuff to work with but I mean this is the way to go yeah you're doing really good we got all the the boxes still over here and then uh, we are working on the faces right yeah we're doing good you're killing it baby mm -hmm. I don't know if I go that far. With our backsplash. I did it all by myself, y'all. Give me a pair of scissors and some Loctite glue. Woo, I'm good to go. Hi, how are ya? I'm walking over to the wood shop because we've got some sanding to do and I've gotta show you the progress that we've made on the cabinets. They're almost built. We're almost ready to paint. And Kyle has done a phenomenal job. Him and I have worked together and we've built these cabinets and they look incredible. I am so proud of him for like sticking this through. See, I told you guys they look good. This is one of the bottom cabinets. Speak of the devil. Hey. These look great. Like this is where the drawers are gonna go. Yeah, I don't, this is all. Yeah, this is gotta be sanded. Wood filler is gonna be cleaned up. But no, I think it's gonna be good. My thing now is I built doors. I built, we got the drawers built. We gotta, I gotta build the drawer. Like I guess a mounting bracket so I can put the sliders on it. We'll be able to sand them up real good and take them inside and paint them. Yay! Look, I gotta show you guys. Come here. Come here. Look at these. Yes, it's wood filler and it has to be sanded. But y'all, look 
at this door. This looks professional. That handsome guy right there built it. He sure did. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's just, I'd love to do it. It just kind of sucked to be in press for time, as usual. When are we not pressed for time? We're trying to get them painted. I don't know if we'll get them painted today. But we will. We're getting them painted today. It's happening. We need to get going because it's going to get dark and wet, heavy here. I am going to put you down and I'm going to hop over here and help this guy. Let me get to work. I'll pick you back up in a bit. They're very excited. They're helping. Fifi, are you helping? Is my good boy helping? So this is the toe kick that we got done. And this is the cabinet that's going over there. However, Kyle's got to drill a hole for the plumbing. And then hopefully we can get this thing put in here and start painting. It's like almost sunset. What well, is kind of sun? Well, yeah, it is sunsetting. And I will show you that in just a second. It's up, kind of pretty. Let me open the window. Oh, now it's getting better. Once you open the window, you can see it. So, yeah, that's story times with Molly and Eloise. Our dilemma right now is that if we cut a hole in the cabinet now for the pipe, it could be bad. So he's gonna go down, remove the pipe, put this over it, and then go underneath and do a pilot hole for a new pipe, right? Right now he's cutting a hole for the electric that's going to go through the cabinet. Well, my friends, we just brought the next one in. And this is the footprint of our new kitchen. What you think? Looks good, though. And we are drilling, people. This thing not going anywhere, right? <laughs> no, it should be good to go. Okay, right, we're going to get finished drilling and show you the finished product. I am tired. I am so tired. Do you want to see the progress that we have made? You want to see it? I'll show you. All right, my friends, here it is. Here's the two double doors. Kyle's going to put the drawers in in the morning. And then, hey, Weezy, the backsplash is up. The backsplash looks great. You guys remember I did this time lapse the other day. But back here, staining a board to go back here. The dinette bench is going to be right there. Table in the middle. And then other dinette bench. And then we got a bunch of crap over here. I'm putting faux boxwood all on this wall. And then we're going to have a um, chair over here that Kyle's going to build in. But I am tired. I need a shower. I am filthy and gross. I need to get ready for bed. And we'll see you in the morning. Get a good night's rest because we have a full day's worth of work to do tomorrow. We want to give a huge thank you to Bonnie Perkins. She made the kids day. Look at all these goodies that she brought for us. What do you guys say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Bonnie. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. You are awesome. So we are opening up the paint. You want to see it? Want to see it? Hi, all. Woo! It's gonna be this really pretty green. What do you think? I don't know Are you nervous? A little bit. It'll be fine. All my hard work. Yep, all of it's getting covered up. Don't you want to stir that first? I just shook it for about five minutes. Oh, okay. If you feel that that's good, there's paint stirrers in the car. I think it's good. Okay. All right, well, let's get the paint. That sun's blinding. All right, let's go check out and see what Jen's got going on. I think she's slanging some paint in there, probably literally. So let's go see. Hi. Hello. That's, How are you? A and lot of you? Green. It is a lot of green, but we're doing more faux boxwood, y'all. I'm boxwood bananas. So faux boxwood is gonna go on this wall, but I'm painting it green so that way it looks fuller. And if some pieces fall off, it won't matter. And then here's our here's our color for our cap. 
Ooh, cabinets. Same color. Same color, um, but I figured it would just be easier just to paint this and put the boxwood on it. I'm almost done. The doors are going to need a couple more coats, but everything else is pretty much painted. I'm excited. And it's going to build me a wall up here, and it's going to be, I'm going to stain it just like that. How you like my stain, babe? Oh, it looks good. I'm really happy with it. It turned out really good. Hopefully about this time tomorrow, we'll be wrapping all of this up. Yeah? I'm going to go build the uh, bench, which is over there and there. And I'm going to put my three dog night back on my speaker and uh, get back to paint. I'm just going to apologize right now. I am sorry. We have not filmed as much as we've wanted to. We have been on such a time crunch. Oh, I think we bit off more than we can chew. We're going to get it done. It's, it's going to get finished no matter what. We're trying to leave Sunday later in the afternoon if we can to get a couple hours down. If we can't, then we'll leave Monday and try and drive all the way down to Isla Mirada. But I want to show you the progress. So don't hate me because we haven't done a ton of filming. We just haven't had the capacity or the time to set it all up. It's been a lot. You want to see? Okay, we've got the benches for the dinette and the table's gonna come down and make a bed. Then we have our kitchen. Look at my beautiful stained wall. And then we're gonna put a wall up over there that matches that stain. Here's the cabinets, y'all. Look! They are so pretty. Love it. I am obsessed with them. Kyle did so such a fantastic job. He's got to put the drawers in today with the slides. And I put another boxwood wall up. I know some of y'all are probably like, she is boxwood bananas. But I kind of am. That is kind of where we're at right now. Kyle went to go get lunch. Eli is not feeling well. He's got a low grade fever. I think it's definitely allergies that he's got because I'm feeling them. Molly's feeling them ever since we came back down to Florida. Allergies are crazy. Oh yeah, forgot to show you. Here's our other bench. The bench is going to be right over here and all of these we're going to put the tops over but leave the storage. So we have plenty of storage in the bus now and I'm super excited. This is so much more work than I anticipated that it would be and it's more than I think Kyle anticipated that it would be. We're in, we're sort of halfway there-ish. Um, we're in the home stretch. It's coming along. We're gonna get all these things done. We are. Before we go to the Keys, they're getting done. Anywho, speaking of that, let me get back to work before I get fired. <sighs> I am pretty sure we bit off more than we can chew. Uh, on a plus side, I upholstered my own seat benches, which is cool. The boxwood wall is still doing good. But our problem is that Kyle, when he cut the drawers or made the drawers, he made them too wide because this rail cannot fit on here and the drawer, the drawer is too wide. But my friend, that's not the only problem. And we're supposed to leave on Monday. And the countertop isn't even cut yet. So these benches, I felt like they were a little high, but Kyle thought that they would be okay. Well, the dining room table is supposed to go here, but we can't attach it because, I mean, we can sit down, but the problem is that we don't have a whole lot of space to attach it somewhere. So we're going to figure out a way to make it stand alone by itself. And we're supposed to leave on Monday. Well, actually, we're supposed to leave tomorrow to the Keys. <sighs> we'll figure it out. I hope. Oh, yeah. Eli doesn't feel good either. So his allergies are getting to him and uh, he is not feeling too great. It is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. Now, let me get back to work and the dogs are barking and I gotta see what they need. And yeah, it's not a good day. Not a good day. Kevin! Good morning. We are gonna be trying to get this wrapped up today. We've got, we figured out kind of the table problem, what we're gonna do. We still don't know what we're doing about the countertops because he's got to cut those and then he still had to figure out what to do with the drawers in order to make them work. So today's going to be an action-packed day. I'll try and carry you around as much as I can. This has kicked our butts. It really has. This whole renovation has just kicked our <laughs> There's no other way to put it. It's just been that. It's been so much more than we thought that it would be. Anyway. My water is done for my coffee. So let me make my coffee, get woken up, get the day started, and then we'll show you what we got going on. 
So we got a table. Look at, there's a table right there. Sorry right, guys, we have not been recording at all hardly. It's just been a rat race to try to get this thing done, but we're almost there. Just like everything else with this bus, it's gotta be custom made. Everything's gotta be made to fit. Everything's gotta be pretty much made from scratch. Nothing been different with this project, so we're getting there. Literally, we've built everything. Yeah. So I'll show you. So we got our sink and we cut out our hole for our sink. But we didn't account for this too before, right? Yonder, we've got to remedy that. The cabinets look really good. Our new pull handles. Oh, boxwood walls looking great. I clean it up, so now he's got to run to. Yeah, take the saw back to Home Depot. I've got to. Actually, they do they close at six on Sunday. Oh well. Yeah, grab a couple things to finish it up. I'll be done with it tonight. I at least want to get the, the countertop set tonight, that way it can dry overnight. You leave in the morning. You just got all this stuff around here to pick up. I know, we got, we. it's all right. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. So yeah, that's where we're at. We'll update you when we have more progress. How tired are you? Exhausted. I'm still not done yet though. No, we are not. I still have the outside to clean up and. I'm just saying, I probably still got another hour to work just Hooking plumbing back up, hooking power back up. As we scarf down our first meal here at our at our dining table. Woo! Show them the meal. Oh, Taco Bell. Yeah, it's great. <gasps> we haven't had a kitchen to cook in. Yeah, I'm so tired of eating junk food. It has been so exhausting. I, I don't want to do any more remodel. We still, like the problems, we still have projects to do when we get back from Key West. I, I'm hungry. Let's eat. We'll show you guys the wrapped up thing after we get all done. The Ozark Police Department is seeking assistance with an ongoing missing persons case. Quincy Hill and Kenneth S. Webb were last seen on May 1st, 2019 at 7.30 a.m. in the area of Longview Road and North 21st Street in Ozark, Missouri. At the time of their disappearance, both were believed to be traveling on foot. If you have seen Quincy Hill or Kenneth S. Webb since May 1st, 2019, or have information or knowledge of their whereabouts, please contact the Ozark Police Department at 417-581-6600. Quincy is 23 years old. She has blonde hair, brown eyes, approximately five foot five inches tall, and approximately 114 pounds. Hill wears glasses and has a tattoo on her right arm above her elbow. Kenneth S. Webb is 29 years old. He has brown hair, brown eyes, about six feet tall, and 270 pounds. Webb potentially has a tattoo on the inside of his left forearm. If you have any information, again, please contact the Ozark Police Department at 417-581-6600. Let's work together to bring Quincy and Kenneth home.